Guys, this is Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and basically what we're going to be talking about today is HTML lists. That's L-I-S-T-S. -S. HTML lists. And there's two types of lists in HTML. There's an unordered list and a ordered list, and they are kind of self-explanatory. It's in the name. You know, one list is unordered and one list is ordered. Uh, but it's much better to visualize it. So if you have Dreamweaver open, or as always you can follow along with notepad but um it's it's uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about you can go to file new and go ahead and click create and h or if you're using dreamweaver it will automatically create an html document for you properly formatted to be read in all browsers and uh, you're pretty much good to go it's another benefit of using dreamweaver but uh so basically we're going to be working inside our body tags if you're working on notepad you're just basically going to be typing html head slash head body slash body slash HTML and you're gonna be working as I said within the body tags everything in here so this is what you would have in notepad and you would be working within here and I'll leave that up for a second you can pause the video alright so we're gonna set the title up here we're gonna be calling this HTML lists and Let's see, let's create a list here. I don't know necessarily what kind of list it's going to be, but uh, I'm just going to type font, style, and don't worry about what I'm doing right now. This I'm just creating a title for the list that's going to be below this. Um, but absolutely, if you want to you know, jump into this, go ahead. You can follow along. Font style equals, and then you can type font family, and Dreamweaver automatically pulls that down for you. And I'm going to select the Arial font. And then we're going to be doing a color excuse me of one two one two one two which is a really dark gray dark almost black and the font weight is going to be bold and then we're gonna close that off with the quotations we're closing we're closing off the CSS style and we're gonna close that the font right here with the forward slash uh, the left arrow forward slash slash font and everything that goes within these tags is going to be what we're typing here so uh, anyway as I said this line is not completely relative but I'm gonna say uh, things I do not like about civilization and, uh, I'm gonna be pretty relative here I don't want to get too controversial but uh, what we're gonna be doing is create a, creating a list of things that I or you do not like about civilization you can create it list about anything that you want your favorite foods the best movies to come out this year I mean really it's completely up to you but um yeah let's do this so the first type of list that we're gonna tackle is a unordered list and you can open up an unordered list by typing I'll create a space so this is more clear you have UL stands for unordered list and then everything that goes in here is going to be our list items. Everything that goes in this line and every line after is going to be our list items. And if you know any HTML, that you know, you know the this is the left arrow forward slash followed by the opening of this tag, which is the unordered list tag, and that closes it so that there's no list outside of it. We're just creating a list within this tag, which is within the body of our document. So to add a list item, you type left arrow li, short for lists. You guessed it. You close it with a left arrow and forward slash like such and let's go down the list here things I don't like about uh, civilization let's say apathy is one of them you know I don't care and I don't care to know you know I don't think anybody likes that uh, that trait of humanity uh, what's another thing I don't like wars so I'm gonna put that in there you know don't like wars I don't like government government secrets don't like government secrets. Also, you'll notice the benefit of Dreamweaver is it automatically closes the tag for you every time you type a left arrow and forward slash. So it'll cl it'll close the appropriate tag. Uh, very big benefit. And uh, last on here, let's just put I hate ignorance. You know, I don't like people talking about things that they don't know about. Um, I hate ignorance. 
And anyway, you can see here, if I look down in my document, maybe switch over to the Design tab, things I do not like about civilization, apathy, wars, government secrets, and ignorance. I mean, this, as I said, this list can be whatever you want. This is just what I came up with. <coughs> so let's go back to our split design here and uh, so we can see both the code and the preview of the page. Now, what if we want to order these from least to greatest? Uh, here's what we do. You can create an ordered list. So you do that by, I mean, you probably are guessing it's O-L instead of U-L. Pretty intuitional. Ordered list, and then you close it the same way you closed the unordered list. And I'm just going to copy and paste these items in here, except I'm going to move them around with Control X on my keyboard to cut and Control V to paste. Just some good hotkeys to know. Uh, I, I hate ignorance above all. Then I hate apathy. And then I hate government secrets, you know goes against the Constitution. Can't have any government secrets. So that's it from, you know, greatest to least. And you can see here, if I click down here, there it updates. This is our unordered list. So we have orders from 1, 2, 3, and 4. Different than our unordered list. This is an ordered list. I hope that makes sense. Uh, basically, all an ordered list does is it creates numerical values next to each list item that you have. You know, pretty good for listing things off in paragraphs, uh, articles, things like that. Uh, if you want to ever preview your document, I mean, we obviously have the design and split tabs here in Dreamweaver. If you ever want to preview your document, and if you're in Notepad, you go to File, click Save As, and you can save it to your desktop. That's where I do it generally if I'm just a, if it's a temporary thing. I type index.html, go up here click preview in Firefox or if you're in notepad and you had saved the index file you just double click it the file on your desktop and it will open up in Dreamweaver so I click that preview in Firefox give it a second to load actually opened up in the wrong window but there it is so you can see you know it's on my desktop index.html there's my title that we added at the beginning of the tutorial HTML lists uh, things I do not like about civilization and here's the list that is unordered and here it is ordered with numerical values next to it. Uh, guys, this was a short tutorial um, on ordered lists and unordered lists within HTML. Stay tuned for other tutorials. Um, I've gotten a couple comments. I think I'll add, I, I've gotten a couple comments that say, hey, will you do some After Effects tutorials to show how you do those motion graphics, uh, maybe some more Photoshop tutorials. Um, I'm going to have a huge database of a large large uh, variety of tutorials and so basically the way I'm gonna treat it is I'm gonna go in order by subject so that you don't get confused when you go to the page and all the tutorials are very in line with each other and uh, you know in order from what you should know is the basics to the advanced stuff um, that's really the way that I personally feel it would be easiest to other people so you might have to wait a little while before I get around to those After Effects tutorials and uh, maybe music production within, you know, FL Studio, things like that. But uh, I will get around to them. I'm just working my way up. I'm actually currently going to work my way up through web design and CSS and PHP and Ajax and jQuery before I ever get into those other programs. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. So stay tuned for other tutorials. And guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Take care.